Stay tuned for the end of the video where I have a special announcement. Hey friends, it's summertime. We are always looking for different recipes, aren't we? Things to take to cookouts and fellowships for the summer. Who doesn't love a tried and true recipe given to you by a friend? And that's what we have today. You don't have to look through the magazines or Pinterest. I have a new recipe for you, but it is a tried and true from a Heritage Ways uh, friend, a, com a community member. I'm gonna tell you all about that. I'm gonna tell you where you can find the recipe. It's gonna be a delicious deviled egg pasta salad. Let's make it. All right, welcome to Heritage Ways. I'm Miss Katie and this is where I encourage and teach and support diligent homemakers. We're going to need two cups of elbow macaroni, cooked and drained. We need eight hard boiled eggs. These are at the very hard boiled stage because I forgot about them when I was boiling them. Roughly chopped. Fourth a cup of Vidalia or red onion, finely chopped. A fourth a cup of sweet pickles, finely chopped. Before we assemble this recipe and add the seasonings, I want to tell you where it came from. Our friend Tori in England, and she writes for uh, her blog, rootsandarrowshomestead.com. So make sure you check her blog out. But also, we are thankful to have her writing for the journal. Now, many of you know about the journal. This is the community newspaper put out by and for the Heritage Ways homemaking community. We publish this newspaper every other month. So you're seeing this in July, and it also goes out in July of every year, but uh, every other month, uh, odd numbered months is when the journal goes out. And it is written literally by and for homemakers. We have news from home, we have puzzles, we have recipes, we have inspiration, we have um, hospitality section, garden section. I mean, it is, I do not know another about another paper of its kind. So I hope you'll check it out. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can check out the journal, um, see what it's about, that kind of thing. But you can also order this exact copy. Now, why would you want this exact issue? Because it has the recipe inside. Tori has put, um, uh, submitted the deviled egg pasta salad recipe from her homestead, her home, and uh, it is in the section with all the other recipes. Our um, recipe managers, we have managers, uh, or uh, I call them managers for each section, and our managers for the pantry section, which is where you're going to find the recipes, are Mark and Shallon from the Appalachian homestead. So they manage the column but anybody could submit content and special recipes, favorite recipes to the newspaper. And that's what Tori did this month, or in this issue. This is actually the May 2023 issue, but you can order this exact issue if you'd like to, if you don't already get the journal subscription. And I will put a link also for that down below in the description box, and you can order this issue if you just wanna say, hmm, that's interesting. I don't think I want to subscribe yet until I know what it's all about. I don't blame you. Who doesn't like a sample issue or a trial? So, um, I will put a link down below so you can order just a sample issue to see what it's all about. But thanks, Tori, for submitting this. Tori also writes a column. Uh, we have several ladies who write particular uh, columns. One is on health, and one is, like I said, on gardening and home remedies. Um, and we have a lady who writes about her memories. Miss Kathy does that. I love that. Um, we have Miss Christina in Canada. She writes about life in Canada. But Tori, who is originally, she's from the United States. I want to say she's from South Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. But she writes about her life in England. And uh, we've got some other folks lined up to write about their lives um, in other um, places. So... Check that out. Thanks, Tori, for giving us this recipe, and let's finish it up. We have a half a cup of mayonnaise. She recommends Hellman's or Duke's, 
And if you know me, you know I wholeheartedly agree with that Hillman's comment. One and a half tablespoons of mustard. I am using a brand that is produced right up the road from me. Just learn to eyeball it. When you've been cooking a while, as long as I have, you can eyeball it. Mustard. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Teaspoon of salt. I only and always use Redmond Real Salt. That's what I have, I use for everything. Fresh cracked black pepper, which is delicious. I like a lot. Wonder how much Tori uses. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. I'm gonna measure this so I don't dump the whole thing in my hand. Stir all of our seasonings. Just gonna add our onions and chopped pickles. Add the roughly chopped hard boiled eggs. In my case, super hard boiled eggs. Now we add the two cups of cooked macaroni. Uh, two cups that you have cooked, not two cups after it's been cooked. Tori doesn't say to do this, but I'm going to put about a tablespoon of my pasta water. The water I cooked my pasta in, just about a tablespoon to add a little bit more moisture and some starch to hold it together. Now you're going to refrigerate this pasta salad for at least two hours. And I do recommend that. I have found through my years of cooking that it is really best with any kind of pasta salad to refrigerate it before eating it. So the flavors can marry especially when you're using pasta. After I refrigerate it, I'm gonna be taking it to a night with the girlfriends. I wanna thank y'all for being here today. And I wanna thank those folks who have been with us since the beginning of our journey. We have been here for six years. I have made on all the channels that we've had, including Patreon and our other YouTube channels, I've made well over uh, 1,500 videos in six years. So, I'm no expert, but I have learned how to do, I do it all myself. I film, I edit, I upload, I get it ready to go on YouTube. I do everything myself. And so, thank you for those who have walked this journey. Those of you who have, who have stuck with me and us for six years, God bless you. I am so thankful to you. And I don't plan on going anywhere. I don't plan on leaving YouTube anytime soon because I really enjoy connecting with y'all. So if this is your first time back, you haven't been to visit us here at Heritage Ways YouTube in a while, I invite you to make sure you're subscribed because YouTube likes to unsubscribe people. What? And so make sure you're subscribed. I'm so glad you're here. And I look forward to many more videos with y'all. Tell me in the comments, how long have you been here with us in the Heritage Ways YouTube community? How long have you been here? And do you remember one of our older videos I might have made uh, back in our Tennessee farmhouse? And then we were also traveling full time. So I'd like to just, you know, let's stir up some memories a little bit. Talk to me about what you remember and how long you've been here. Or if you are a first time viewer, you are welcome here, y'all. I'm so glad you're here. Happy anniversary to Heritage Ways YouTube because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So I'm so thankful that you are here and I hope you'll tell your friends and we can just build this community together. Thanks so much and I hope y'all are counting your blessings because I truly, truly count y'all as many of our blessings. Many of y'all we have met in person and I'm so glad of that, I'm so thankful. And that is why also the journal is so dear to my heart because it is all about building community in your mailbox. You read it on your front porch, not on the computer, not on the internet. You read it in your hands, newspaper print. So that is about community. We're about community. Thanks for being here. Count your blessings and I'll see you next time.